Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. All praises, bro. So you, you see yourself as a African American, right? African black, American black. Yeah. Okay. So you be from the tribe of Judah, right? That's right. Judah, Judah is the same tribe that our Lord and Savior is from. That's right. You see that? You see this picture right here? Come over here. Come look at this, bro. Come over and look at this. If Jesus Christ right now was a matter of fact, give me Revelations one. You get me? You got me? He said. He, he, if, if Jesus Christ right now was to come and be walking this earth right now, he'll look just like you. People think he look like this. What about you? He'll look just like me too. He'll look just like me too. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm getting everything out because you. Because you. Do you know who you are? Do you know your nationality? I mean, I don't know too much. But I know a little bit. You know a little something. What you know? Uh, they say we're not from. They say we're not from. We're not from here. We we'll see, but the thing is, these these lands they came over. People was already here. But give me. I'm gonna read this for you. All right, read that. Revelation chapter one, verse one. Uh huh. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the reveal of Jesus Christ. There's revealing revelations. Now, verse fourteen. Verse fourteen. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said the head on God on Jesus' head was white like wool. So we're gonna play three strikes, bro. Cause didn't they didn't they say this is Jesus? Have you seen pictures like this before? Yeah. They said this is Jesus, right? But he said he got white woolly hair. Who got white woolly hair? We do, right? That's strike one for this for this dude. Read his head and his hair were white like wool, as Read. white as snow. As white as snow. Read and his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire, bro. Is he, hey, see, he said his eyes as a flame of fire. What color is his eyes? Blue, right? He got blue eyes. That's strike two. Read. And his feet. And his feet. And what? Like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. brass. Yeah, what color is brass? Brown. Yeah, yeah, like brown, like a penny, right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So, who, he, said he, in his, he said he was dark as, like he was so black, he like he burned in a furnace. That's strike three. So, who is this man? Who is this though? No, that, 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 that's the that's the mark of the beast. That's the white man that they portrayed on us. Man, on. Bro, I'm, I'm serious, bro. Where you going? You don't, so you don't believe Jesus is a black man? Bro, so you gonna bro, you gonna come you gonna come over here? Don't want to hear that Jesus is black? He looks just like you. That's what we're out here for. We're here to teach you that these people been lying to us. You don't believe that they lied to us, huh? But you just said this was Jesus. Huh? You know. But it's a no. You, if you know, what's your nationality then? It don't matter what the nationality. See, that's the point. We got that's what we're destroying. Give me do go back to do the right. He said yes to do. Yes to do. Yes to do. How come it do? How come what do? How come it matters? Because guess what? If you if you knew that Jesus looked like you and he looked like the rest of your people, our people would kill each other. That's right. Our people would kill each other. That's right. Do it on seven and six. This is why it matters. This is not, this is why it matters. We are a special people, bro. You want to know why we jump higher? We're the best athletes. We got the smartest people in the world. Right. That's why it matters. Read that. Read Read that. Chapter 7, verse 6. Read that. For thou art in holy people. The Bible says you black men, black Hispanics, Native American are holy. Read unto the Lord thy God. He said we're, we're holy to him. He said nobody, actually, keep reading. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. He chose you. To be a special people unto himself. Read. Above. A what? Above. Above. Read. All people. That are upon the Some people. Above. All people. Uh -huh. That are upon the face of the earth. The black man and Hispanic man are above everybody. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. There's nobody else above us. Yeah. Right. So that's why that matters. If we killing each other, how the hell are we above everybody? That's the point. Yeah. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me. Give me. Give me Hosea. Hosea 4 verse 6. Hosea 4 6. That's a great question, bro. Why are we killing each other? This is why we're killing each other. Read. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Read. My people. He said his people, bro. Are these are what? Are destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's why we kill each other. We're
We're That's destroyed right. from a lack of knowledge. Bingo, we don't know baby. That. Bingo. See, we're destroyed from a lack of knowledge. So keep reading. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Since you rejected knowledge, our people rejected knowledge. Read. I will also reject thee. That's why God rejects us. We have no knowledge. That's why we kill each other. If we had knowledge. If, but look, though. If we had knowledge. You said what's knowledge? Huh? You have to go get the knowledge. Oh, how do you get it? Malachi 1 and 2, 2 and 7. Because look, bro, you ask a good question. We got to get the knowledge. Who's supposed to teach us knowledge, though? You know what? Who's supposed to teach us knowledge? Our nationality is why all races. You said what? Don't like us. All praises. Yes, we know. All races don't like us. All, all people don't like each other. That's uh, no, what that knowledge. Read that. The race Malachi. The race chapter 2. All our family. Verse 7. He said Malachi the 2 for like seven. Verse 7. Hold on, bro. Read it. Listen to this, all right? Read. But the priest lips uh, should keep knowledge. So the priest is supposed to be out here teaching us. The so-called pastors right now, they're supposed to teach us. They're not out here. Guess what? We are. We are out here. We are out here. We're out here to teach you the knowledge. What's the knowledge, though? And they should seek the law. Or the what? The law. The law at his mouth. So that's the knowledge, bro. We don't keep the laws of God. If you will keep the laws of God. Matter of fact, give me this. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. If you, if we get this, if we were to get, just apply this commandment, we would do, stop doing what you just asked us. We would stop doing this. We would stop killing each other, right? Because you want our people to stop killing each other, right? You like that, right? That's why we got to come back to God. That's why we got here teaching them. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 13. Uh-huh. This is for, hey, but look, bro. Hey, bro, look. This is the knowledge I'm showing you right now. Read. Thou shalt not kill. Why we don't keep that commandment? Why? Because we're a lack of knowledge, bro. That's why I said. The knowledge is said. If they read the Bible... Thou shalt not kill. Our people are killing each other, right? If we apply that commandment right now, guess what? A lot of our people that we love right now, like some of our homeboys, I have people that got killed too. They're dead. They're gone. That's sad, ain't it? We'll never see them again. But if we apply this commandment, we would, we would be good. But we don't apply that. Because you know why? We're cursed people. Are we not? Are we not cursed? No. We're not cursed? No. Oh, all praises. See, come, look, come look at this, bro. Come look at this. No, I can't see that. Come look. I ain't talking. That's okay. Come look at this. We got we got put on slave ships, right? Yeah. We got put on slave ships, right? You know that's documented in the Bible, right? All right. So so if we got put on slave ships. Uh huh. What happened before we got? What happened? Deuteronomy twenty-eight fifteen. Okay. Deuteronomy twenty-eight fifteen. Why all nationality? No. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Right. We're going to show you what happened. Sir. We're going to show you what happened. I got you, bro. I, I, you, know, this is like, you know, this is like a class in the Senate, bro. I'm trying to teach you. He asked me a question. That's not right today, hater. That's true. That's true. Rule 1. Chapter 28. Verse 1. This is Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, bro. You said before slavery. Read that. Read that. Before slavery. Read that. 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 Read if thou shalt hearken diligently uh -huh. to the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe and to do all his commandments. So if we was a, like we did back then, before, like you said, before we got on boats, if we would keep his, we would have kept his commandments. We kept his commandments. Guess what? Read. Which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He said he will set us on high. He put us high above everybody. That's what happened. We was ruling the world. We had King Solomon, King David. You might have never heard of them, brothers. We used to rule the world. We owned the world. We ruled England. We ruled Scotland. King James was a ruler. He ruled. He ruled. What's that got to do with 2023? Everything. That's verse 28. So, I mean, go verse. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 15, because he just said he's gonna set us about high if we kept his commandments. Now let's see what happened in 2023. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. You got what? Yeah, I have a so you don't want to hear the answer? All right, I we gonna, do. We, I, do. Do. I got you. I Read. Do, sir. But I it do. shall come to pass. He said, but it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. It's happening right now in 2023. Read. Read. If thou will not hearken, he said, if you brothers and sisters do not listen, Read. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe to do all his commandments. He said, if you brothers don't listen to God. He 
said if you brothers don't listen to God, bro, because you, because we, right now we're trying to show you, and you won't even want to listen. That's part of it. Read at his statutes, which I command thee this day. He said we don't keep his commandments, because at the end of the day, it's all about God's commandments. Read that all these curses. He said all these curses. Read shall come upon thee. He said that's why we at the bottom right now. That's what is. Are we not at the bottom right now in 2023? You just asked that question. Oh, we know that. But what we got to do to get out of this? It's your own fault. But what we got to do to get out of it? You don't listen. My question is, who is it? What we got to do to get out of this? I understand that every day. We got to pray? Let God, that dude, let me We got to pray. Oh, we got to, okay, let's see what, that's, okay. You know what let me, let me, to us get out of captivity, what do we got to do? I'm going. I'm going. Be prepared for what? I'm going. Give me First Kings 8. Y'all have a nice day. Huh? I, bro, I understand what you're saying. I get what you're saying because I used to think like that. But sometimes you got to come, like, you got to ask certain questions. Well, I believe it. I believe in the Bible. That's right. I believe that the Bible was for us, only about us, and only for the Israelites. That's right. Who? I believe in God. I believe in Jesus. I believe I believe that we're, bro, I believe we're the God's chosen people. That's right. That's what the Bible says. Give me that. You got 1 Kings 8. Read that. Verse 10, chapter 8, verse 46. Read, if they sin against thee. See this, I, bro, I'm trying to tell you how to get out of captivity, bro. Hey, hey, brother, brother, so you said the way that we fix the conditions in a black neighborhood is prayer, right? Give me John chapter 9, verse 31. Because I want everybody to hear this, brother. Because we've been in this condition since we've been brought here to the shores of America. We still getting murdered in the street. We still fill the prison houses. We still getting slumped. We still growing up in single parent households. But did not our mothers, our fathers, did not our grandmothers pray? Why is we still going through what we going through today? I'm gonna show you why. Listen to me. Read John chapter nine, verse thirty-one. Read. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. The Bible says we know for a fact. God do not listen to sinners. Right. When you examine the black community, it's not we sinners. Do, can you answer that question for me, young man? Come on, come on, let me, young man. Come on, let me. I want to hear you, but come forth. If you want to, if you want to have a conversation, can, you, can we have a conversation? Now come up, come up. I want to hear you. I can't hear you. You want to hear what you got to say, bro? Now you say what we doing is a sin. You can't force somebody. Give me that pill. Listen, so you saying what I'm doing is a sin. You know why you said that? Because you've been taught God by the God that you learned these all these years is this man here. This white man. This white Jesus. Listen, I didn't say I, I'm not saying you stupid. I'm not saying you don't know. But what you just said is error. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. What is the nation? Yeah, yeah. Nation is men leading by example. Oh, my.